How's it going to up for us TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my preview for Forest vs West Brom taking place at the Hawthorns tomorrow night. So yeah, um, West Brom, obviously one of the better teams in the league. Currently sat third in the league um, on 33, 33 points, yep. Um, and we're only nine points off them. Sounds weird to say that. After the start that we've had to the season, we're only... Um, nine points off third place, which is three three wins. Obviously, you know it, it doesn't doesn't always work like that. You know, you can't just win three games in a row and be third. Obviously, you gotta have um results go in your favour above you. But you know that's that's not that bad. Like looking at the start of the season we had, where I think we had like one point after six or something. Um, you know it, it's been fantastic. Um. The, the turnaround, one loss in 12, um, you know, now three points off third, which is unbelievable, really. I mean, you would never have expected that. Um, you know, West Brom, last three games, they haven't won in, you know, two draws and a loss. So their form's not the greatest, obviously, for us. Um, in our last three, it's been one win and two draws. So it's not been, pardon me, too dissimilar, their loss. Um, was a win for us. Um, not, not obviously we didn't beat them because we wouldn't be playing them today if that was the case. But you know what I'm saying. Um, you know they're a very good side. West Brom got some really really good players. Um, Alex Moa, someone that um, you know he's he's just so good for this league. Um, at at um, Barnsley, really really helped them. He was crucial in the middle of the park for them. He's got a fearsome shot on him. You know he he, he knows how to score a long shot, and we'd have to be be careful for that one. Um, Carl and Grant uh, up front for them. Um, you know he's gonna he's gonna cause you problems. Sam Johnson in goal. Um, you know it's credit to Sam Johnson doing it for the Championship players, getting in the England squad and staying in the England squad. You know it, he could have um, quite easily gave Southgate gone for Nick Pope. Stuck with Sam Johnston. Um, knows sort of what he can offer him. Um, doesn't just. Oh, I mean sometimes yeah you can criticise Southgate. Maybe with his last. Um, Squad announcement, squad um, pick. It, it, um, when he when he did pick sort of Maguire and Shaw, even when they were having an absolutely torrid time for United, um, over you know some of the players who, who probably should have been in there, maybe Tamori springs to mind for the centre back position. But um, you know he's he's not just saying oh you know only only Premier League players in my squad or only first division players in my squad. You know, so he's keeping Johnson in there, and you know he's a he's a really good keeper, and um, credit to him. So you know, it's not going to be easy to score goals. They've got also you know like the likes of Semi Ajay at the back. You know, so they've they've got a really solid squad. They're the type type of squad though that's sort of too good for the Championship, if you will, not quite good enough for the Premiership. You know, if there was sort of a league in between the Prem and the Championship, they would be like solid mid table in that league. Um, you know, uh, I think um, a, a team that that even though they've only only picked up two points in the last three games, you're never going to go to Hawthorns and have an easy day. They're a really difficult side. Last time we did play them, there it was a two-all draw. Matty Cash scoring an absolute screamer to rescue the points late on there. Oh, I miss Matty Cash, but Jed Spence though, you know, he he's there. Um, Standing in the way, and he's doing a fantastic job. Um, it's it's going to be a real shame knowing that he's probably going to be going back in January because he's just been a breath of fresh air. Cyrus Christie last year started off really poor, but really turned things around. Um, really turned things around towards the back end of the season, and uh, silenced some of his critics. But he was nowhere near Spence or Cash, and it's just going to be a real shame when Cash, uh, when Cash, when Spence does have to go back inevitably. We'd love to keep him, love to purchase him, and if we can, then we should definitely do that. But Middlesbrough aren't anymore because they won't let him go on cheap on a cheap. They'll 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 get their penny, a pretty penny from him if he does um, leave the Riverside. But oh, I'd love it if we could get him. I really love it. He's been excellent. Um, but yeah, West Brom. They've got um, Valerian and Ishmael in charge. You know, did an incredible job with Barnes last season. Doing really well with them so far. Uh, pardon me. The two teams above them are by far and away probably the two best teams in this league. Fulham and Bournemouth. You could probably... I don't want to say it already because the Championship is so topsy-turvy. But you, you could quite 
comfortably predict and you wouldn't really, you know, wouldn't get too wild odds on West, uh, not West Brom, sorry, on Fulham and um, Bournemouth going up um, one and two because they're, they're just different gravy. You know, Fulham turned up against us. We weren't that bad. Got absolutely walloped 4-0. So, you know, it, it's a, you know, it, it, it just shows the, the quality of those two teams. And West Brom, you know, if it wasn't for them, Obviously, as stupid as it sounds, they'll probably be in the top two. Um, they're they're playing that sort of quality and that sort of way to to be up there. The way that they're winning games, grinding out games. But um, you know, they've had a, a not not a win in the last three, and they've they now found themselves something. I think it's like eight points off second. So that just goes to show just how good those two teams are. But yeah, um, in terms of the scoreline, I'm not too like. I'm not too confident or too negative about this one. I don't know. I've got a feeling it's going to be 1-1. I think it's going to be another Forest um, draw. Um, I've got a feeling it's going to be a one all. You know, that there. I don't think it will be a, a game where we're going to have too many chances. And if we do have any chances, their defence is very solid, so they won't allow them to be very good chances. Our defence are going to have to be on top with some of the players they've got. You know, um, like I mentioned. Carl and Grant. Um, I'm trying to work, out, think of some other names here. My mind's going blank a bit. Callum Robinson, is he still there? Um, you know, we're going to have to be on, on our A game defensively. And it's going to be a bit difficult with the midfield positions because, obviously, Colback um, is now suspended. So, you look at left-back, Bong's going to probably have to play there now just out of a lack of other players to play there. The midfield too is going to be, well, I don't know if, if if Yates will be back. I don't know the sort of um, time frame on that one, but it looks like it's going to have to probably be Garner and, on, and, and, and um, Ajada, um, which I'm not too sure how that will work out, whether we might play Cafu. Actually, yeah, Cafu probably might play. He's a bit more combative, a bit more, um, you get stuck in a little bit more than maybe James Garner, for example. But, you know, with that being said, I don't think we're going to be going all guns blazing. I think it might be a bit more um, sort of uh, on the back foot and try and hope to to get a uh, get a goal or something like that. Um, you know, you turn up to the to the um, to the Hawthorns and you're not going to have all the ball. You're not going to be the dominant side. You're always going to have to try and sit in a bit, try and catch them on the counter attack, which I think we can do with the players we've got. The pace of Spence, the pay, the pace of Johnson, you know, the pace of of Lolly or Zinkenagel. Um, you know, so I think it's going to be, it's going to be. I think it's going to be one all. I don't like to predict draws or Forest losses, but I do have a feeling it will be one all. Um, I don't think they'll beat us. I think we've got the knack um, of just scraping out draws, scraping out wins when we need to. Um, and I think you know um, a one all draw away at the Hawthorns won't be anything to scoff at. I think it'll be quite a quite a, a, um, a respectable result to be honest. So um, hopefully we can um, hopefully we can win. Obviously. But um, you know, be I think I think if you go to a place like Hawthorns, the Vitality, the Craven Cottage, um, places like that, and you don't lose, then you not you can't complain because they are just that good in this league. Um, in terms of my starting eleven, I mean I know Cooper's been switching between the five at the back and the four two three one. I do prefer the five at the back. I just think it offers us the a chance for the wing backs to just get that bit further forward, um, have that little bit. I still have a defensive responsibility, don't get me wrong, but have a little bit less of a defensive um, defensive responsibility because they have the, the left or right centre-back who can just slightly drift out um, should they be needed to do so. Um, so hopefully he does go with a 5-2-3, but it could be a bit of a tricky one given the personnel we have. Um I'm going to say 5-2-3, five, three, five, three, sorry, for me. I think that's how I would line up with um, Sam Ringol, Spence and Bong in the wing-back positions. Um, three centre-backs, Figueredo, Warwell and McKenna. Um, midfield two will probably, for me, be Cafu and Ajada. Um, a lot of positivity I've seen on Twitter for, from Ajada's performance. Didn't get to watch the game on Tuesday night, unfortunately. But a lot of positivity from what I've heard, which is really good to see. And then um, the uh, the front three for me being I'm gonna go with Zinc Lolly 
no, sorry, Zink, Johnson and Graben. Um I'm not sure why Graben didn't play against Luton. Um, a lot of people are saying how poor Taylor was. So, you know, I think it's going to be um, Graben starting this one. And I'd love to see him start because I think he's just on some... When he's on form, he's just brilliant to watch. You know, um, was it two goals? Yeah, it was two goals against Preston. One from the spot and one from a brilliant bit of play from uh, Brennan Johnson. Um, and he just looks like he's back to his best. He looks like he's back to the grabber that we saw grab, grab 20 goals under um, Sabri. Um, so, you know, I, I think it, he's a must play in these sorts of games. You know, I, I remember leads away um, near the start of the Sabri regime. Pardon me. Um, we were against, uh, yeah, Leeds out of the road, like I say, obviously Leeds away. We're not going to be against, you know, Derby at home if we're playing Leeds away, are we? No. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, and I think they took the, they took the lead. I think it was Pablo Hernandez. And then, um, we scored an equaliser and it was kind of like a scramble in the box and Graben just managed to get enough on it to turn it in. And, you know, in games like this, you just need that striker to know where he's going to be. He knows what you need to do to get the ball in the back of the net and that could be really, really important. And I do think Graben uh, has the ability to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to go with a one all in this game. But I could maybe see for a eking out a 1-0 potentially. I'd be absolutely delighted if we could. But um, I'm going to go with uh, a 1-0.